Okay, Kipsters, so today we are going to be dividing with decimals, and I thought it would be interesting for me to show you how that is done. So let me give you an example. You have 100 divided by 5, and 100 divided by 5 would give you an answer of 20. Let's see why. Because 100 is being divided by 5. 5 goes into 1, 0 times. 5 goes into 10, 2 times. 2 times 5 is 10. And 10 subtract 10, 0. Pull down the 0. 5 goes into 0, 0 times. 0 times 0, 5 is 0. And 0 minus 0 is 0. So the answer is 20. And that's why the answer is 20 and 100 divided by 5. But what happens when you actually have to divide by a decimal divisor. Let's give the example of 50 divided by 1 tenth. So here's what you would do. You would rewrite this as a division problem with the division house. 50 is going on the inside and then you're writing 0 0.1 on the outside. Okay. However, now we normally do not divide by any digits that have decimals with them. So in order for us to uh, divide by a whole number, we would have to move this decimal point over one space to the right. Now whatever we do to this number right here, we have to do to the same number that we're dividing by because we don't want to change the value. So if I am multiplying a number by 10, that's what I'm doing when I actually do that. I literally have to multiply the number by 10 as well. Okay, so I just move the decimal point over the same amount of times that I move it over in the divisor in the dividend. Because 50 looks like this. 50 ones divided by and 1 tenth looks like 1 tenth, right? So what I'm basically doing is I'm saying that 50 ones, whenever you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. So this 1 in the 10 will invert, and I'll get 10 ones. And this problem really should look like 500 divided by 1. And if you look at your work here, now this problem does look like 500 divided by 1. So the key in dividing by decimals is the same exact thing that you do to make your uh, dec decimal divisor a whole number. You have to do the same exact thing to your dividend. I'll give you one more example. Let's switch up the colors. So I have, I have 12.5 divided by 0 0.05. Okay, so I'm going to put 12.5 on the inside, and I'm dividing that by 0 0.5, 0 0.05, 5 hundredths. How many times do I have to move the decimal point over to the right in the divisor in order to make it a whole two times? Therefore, I'm going to move the decimal point over in the dividend two times as well, once, twice. And now, the problem is now... 1,250 divided by 5. So you're always dividing by a whole number, but if you have a decimal divisor, move the decimal point over as many spaces as you can in the divisor so you get a whole, and whatever you do to this number, you have to do that number as well. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed that, and let's just solve this out to figure out what the answer would be. 2 Pull down the 5, 5 goes in 25 5 times, 5 times 5 is 25, subtract, you get 0, 5 goes into 0, 0 times, the answer to this problem is 250. There are 250 five hundredths in 12.5. Hope you enjoyed.